Now this is the depth effect wallpaper on the lock screen on the iPhones and on the Galaxy phones we do not have the depth effect wallpaper feature so far while many other OEMs have already offered it on their skin. And Samsung users have been asking for the depth effect wallpaper on the lock screen and we still do not have that officially available. So here is a trick using which you'll be able to achieve the depth effect on the lock screen wallpapers on the Galaxy phone. And this trick is not originated on the channel. It has been floating around on the internet for quite a while now. So I thought I'll make a quick video about this and show you guys how you can achieve the depth effect wallpaper on your Samsung Galaxy phones. So let's dive in. Now to demonstrate this, I will download a portrait wallpaper from our Volvus application. Of course, you can use your own wallpaper to get the depth effect. I will also do my own wallpaper in a bit and show you guys. But let's first check out the portrait wallpaper from Volvus. Let me open portrait and let me pick up a wallpaper here. Maybe this one. I'll just download and save it. Now let's go to the gallery. I'll open this portrait wallpaper and I will just press and hold on this image here, which will clip the subject. Now what I'll do is I will just save this subject as image. As you can see, it's saved right here and there is no background on this image. Now what you need to do is you need to cut this image into half and remove the lower portion. Let me just tap on edit. I'll shrink this image. I'll make it half here right now I'll uh, save this now this is the image that we are going to use to get that depth effect and put the clock behind the head that's what it's all about right you get the clock behind the portrait and keep the background intact now for that we need to do this first and we also need the original wallpaper here now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the lock screen now here I'll tap on wallpapers and I will select the wallpaper the portrait wallpaper we had chosen I'll tap on done now this is the wallpaper which we want. You can see the clock is sitting right above the head here and we are supposed to bring this clock behind the head. That's what it's all about, right? The depth effect will have the clock behind the subject while keeping the background intact. Now to achieve this, all we need is Logstar module, which is available right here on One UI 7. If you have Logstar installed on GoodLog application, you will see Logstar right here. And now I'll tap on Logstar. Now Logstar allows or enables us to add the third party widgets or the system widgets by tapping on app widgets here. I'll tap on this. Now here I will look for gallery widget. Tap on gallery widget and just add this widget right here on the lock screen. Just drag it around. Just tap on that and drag it and increase the size here. Now this is where we are going to bring that image which we clipped, the uh, subject which we have clipped. For that, just swipe up from this, uh, from the bottom tap on widget settings and here tap on select images. We can select multiple images here, but uh, to achieve the objective to, to get that uh, you know depth effect, we need to select the image that we have clipped, the subject that we have clipped from the uh, background. So that is right here and I'll tap on done. Here we go. Now this, we need to adjust it and put it right on the uh, face here, right on the background. And we can keep this face right on the clock. As you can see, I just increase the size here and set it exactly on the background here. There we go. Now you can see the subject, the clock is right behind the head here. That is amazing, isn't it? Just tap on done and we are good to go. We've got the depth effect here. As you can see, we have got the, uh, the clock behind the uh, subject and it gets this cool effect as well. You can see that portion is just blending into the background, which looks pretty cool. Now you can also further customize this. Let me show you that. Let's go to GoodLock again. And here, all you need is Wonderland application. Now on Wonderland, you can create some uh, effects here, some very unique effects. I'll just select plus button here and I will tap on this icon to select the image. I will select the exact same image which we have uh, used on the lock screen and I'll tap on close and now I'll just select any, any specific effect that I want here. Maybe let's select the warp one. Yeah, let's select this and tap on close, download it, save it, and then just set it on the lock screen. I'll just set this up, lock screen. And now let's check this out. There is some issue here, you can see. For that, let's unlock the lock screen customization menu here. Now here again, tap on this gallery widget and adjust this right here. There we go. I'll tap on done. Now check this out. Beautiful, isn't it? 
Again, it depends on which effect that you selected. You can select multiple different effects on the lock screen from the uh, Wonderland module. Go ahead and do that. Now, let me demonstrate this again, but this time with my own image. Let's go to gallery. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this particular image here. Now I've cropped this image to look like this because this had a larger background. Just make sure you crop the image to suit the lock screen. And now I'll just press and hold on this image and clip the subject here and save it as image. Now we've got two images. One is with the background and the other one is without the background. Now you need to make sure you crop this uh, image without the background into half. Let's crop it and now Let's save this. Now we've got two images, this one and the original one. Now let's go to the lock screen customization options. I'll press and hold on the empty area, open this and tap on wallpapers and select the wallpapers with the background, tap on done. And this one, I'll just remove this because sometimes it doesn't work if uh, even if we select a different image. So let's start from the scratch. Let me tap on lock star, tap on add widgets, go to gallery widget, and add this widget here and just expand this widget, enlarge it and now just select an image. For that you need to swipe up here, tap on widget settings, tap on select images and now select the one without the background. Here it is. I'll just select this and tap on done. Now let's place this right here on top of this image. There we go. It looks perfect. Let me tap on done. And here we go. Looks pretty cool, isn't it? You've got the clock in the background. When we unlock it, you can see that transition here. The background just zooms out of the screen and sits behind the subject right here. A pretty cool trick that you can try. Now, I do not want to take the credit for this trick because this trick has been floating on the internet for quite some time now. Many of you guys have already shared it, but I had to showcase this to the community on Apex. So here we go. Do try it out and let me know what you think. Drop a comment. And do you want depth effect feature by default on the Galaxy phones? Do share it in the comment section. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.